Today we are at Bristol Temple Meads and I'm stood in the passenger shed which was Brunel's original 1840 terminal station of the GWR. Behind me is the arrivals platform and you just come in from London and the uh, opposite platform is departures to London. The beautiful train shed roof in wrought iron and timber uh, is going to be restored and refurbished over the next two years. This wonderful space is currently shut to the public because we have some issues with water ingress and some rot and some collapsed ceilings but we're going to address all those over the next 12 months or so to make this beautiful space safe and open to the public, the good people of Bristol and the UK so everyone can come and see it and enjoy it. Temple Meads is one of my absolute favourite stations on the planet. In fact, when Simon first showed me inside that building, I must admit, I did get a little bit emotional because it's proper Genesis stuff, right? If you go inside there, you'll feel it. It's experimental railway architecture made in wood. They were just feeling their way around how railway buildings and stations and engine shed infrastructure could all fit together. That building really does feel, however, like it's been a little bit, perhaps, hmm, underappreciated for its true place in the evolution of the railway and, and, and the people who use it and how we use it. Maybe it's been a bit forgotten. Well, now it's back in Network Rail's hands. I guess you probably could say it belongs to you and us, so it's time for us to explore it over the next few years and then we develop it all. But the work that's going on to behind the scenes to conserve that place and, 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 and redevelop it and make it as part of a, a big new station again is quite wonderful. So, to find out more about the planned improvement works you know, for all of us who use that station and for the local community as well, then do have a little look at networkrail.co.uk and search for Bristol Rail Regeneration.